So today's video is going to be on the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh engine stand. Now this engine stand did not come in this shape. It's actually been sitting for about 10 months waiting for me to do this video. Well it's time for this video so hopefully you guys enjoy. So let's get started. So you're probably watching this video thinking how do I put this together? I don't want to look at them instructions or maybe the instructions ain't as good as they should be. So I'm going to walk around here in my awesome shoes and show you guys how to assemble this. Now if you seen my unboxing video, they have tons of spiders in this box. I let this set for about 10 months. There's spiders everywhere. I hate spiders. And uh, anyway, this is a uh, Pittsburgh uh, instructions. Yeah, duh. This should be your front wheels. I would think. I ain't gonna look at instructions putting these together. This is a front wheel, casters, and uh, if you're doing this, I don't recommend doing it on your hardwood floor. If you do, be careful. Mine's more of an antique looking hardwood floor, so I ain't too worried about it. And uh, you can just run a quick stain over it, and it takes away the scratches, and this looks just as good as new. So that's what you get with an antique looking uh, thing. Okay, that don't fit like it should. Maybe I should look at instructions. Let's go for instructions. Instruction number one. You guys can see this right here. I'm out of the video lens. Can you work a camera? Make sure I'm in a lens just so you know. So I can see what I'm doing. So you want to take this piece it looks like and this piece goes in just like so. Just like so, because that's what the instructions say, right here. And, uh, well, this is very simple, guys. Very simple. So, this goes here. And then it looks like this little guy, right here, will go here. So let's just go ahead and set this up. Oh god, it's getting heavy. Just like so. Put this here. Just like so. Okay. And each wheels will go here. So I turn it over the right way. Just like so. And we got bolts that fit all the way through this. Don't know which bolts, but we can find them. Let's see. Definitely not this boat. I would guess. Three of those. Four of those. Two of those. I would guess it would be one of these. Let's go ahead and just feed these through. And they go all the way through to the bottom of this. Just like so. And once you get that, you will need this piece. Two more bolts. 
Goes all the way through to both sides. If you're watching this video, you see I'm not letting make a mistake. See up up. But we did make it a mistake. There we go. Just like so. Probably go a whole lot easier if you had help and went, um, I wasn't trying to film this. But anyways, both just go through just like the front end did. Just like so. Now I'm just snugging these up by hand. You can come back later and tighten everything up. Just quickly assemble it for you guys. Now we are on to wheels. Yeah, a wheels is what's next. This is the front wheel. Let's go ahead and do the back wheels. The back wheels use this little thing here. A bolt goes through that and then you just tighten it up. Very simple concept. You just put this in like so. Hits these little skinny, skinnier two bolts. They're just two in the kit. So. Washer goes on one side, washer goes on the other side. And then you just feed it through. So basically what you got is this sleeve that goes on in that wheel. You got two washers. Washer goes on that side and washer goes on this side. Washer on each side and then that bolt pancakes is. It ain't the best setup and you can tell by the quality but it works as a wheel I guess. I've said before, we go over everything in a minute. I'm just snuggling them up now. Now, once you get that, it's onto this front wheels here. I'll scoot this back. Just like so. We have a bolt that goes up through here, which is this guy. The short, short one goes underneath. I say it don't matter where this goes. It just tightens up on this. Ain't got a hole or nothing. Next is this part putting the wheels on. Got a bolt here. Very simple. This right here goes in. You take your washer. Whoops. Put your washer on. Whoops. 
You put your washer on, lock nut, and then you tap, you put your tap on, or nut, depending on what you what you call it. And then you come around to do the other side too. Next, this guy goes on, just like so. Very simple to do. So this goes on next. I always run my boats in this way. That way, you know, you don't have any feelings for too long. And then you just leave these loose till you get your engine mounted. Pretty simple, just like so. So I'm going to go ahead and put all four on. So basically guys, this is the engine stand outside. And the reason I didn't do it outside is because it is dark and uh, it's raining. You know, and my building is full of stuff right now and they ain't very good lighting. Let me just push this on with my fancy shoes over here so you get a better look at it. I'm going to show you exactly what I don't like about it. But you know, it's perfectly usable. This little short pin here. If you look down in here you could drill that and have one that goes all the way through both sides that'd be much safer uh the boat i complained about this boat not going all the way through but it looks like it serves a purpose because this is smaller it pushes it up and levels it out here once you get level you could actually weld this uh i do got mine sticking out a little bit too far it calls for it being even here should have a stop welding on the back of it Make it much easier if they did. The wheel casters, I ain't got none of these bolts super tight yet. But they got a big gap, so we're going to move around and stuff. I'm not happy with the way the wheel casters on this is. But for the price, you know, some wheel casters can cost up to $50 a piece. You know, you, you're losing quality here, guys. You're losing quality when you buy cheaper stuff. And that's just sacrifices you got to make, like on the wheel casters. But all in all, other than the wheel casters and a few little things I'm complaining about, it looks like definitely hit would hold the engine stand. Hey, look, I got a flower. Yeah, looks better in daytime. Oh, and that, yeah, I was using that for some wires, just put wires in. Need to clean that up. Spring cleaning, or fall cleaning, whatever you call it. But, uh, but yeah, that's the engine stand. Some of these casters can cost up to like 50 bucks. And it's night time, so you know the flash makes this look worse than it is. It's actually a really pretty engine stand. I can't complain for the price. 60 bucks, around 40 bucks on sale. Oh no, it's it's a pretty stand. So if you found this video helpful and you know put it to use, let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed watching. I enjoy hearing from everyone. Show your support for my channel by smashing that subscribe button. Appreciate it if you do. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.